Namaste Scorpio, welcome to my channel, this is Lushon Magical, thank you very very much for being here and for having me and for viewing Lushon Magical, it is truly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, and of course welcome to your general reading regarding Saturn being in retrograde. So yeah, keep in mind this is a general, so this may or may, may, or may not resonate with you, okay, take only what does resonate with you, apply it to your situations. Uh, you should also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and whenever you come across this reading, uh, the time will be right for you because, you know, time is uh, fluid and we all experience time differently. Actually, an illusion, but that is another subject. And when it comes to uh, Saturn being in retrograde, this is a very important period of time for all of us because things that we didn't learn, things that we couldn't face things that, you know, we may be consciously or subconsciously pushed under the carpet, um, it's coming back. It's coming back to make a little bit of knock-knock to revisit and visit. So um, let's check it out, Scorpio, how, how this plays out for you. This is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements of Scorpio, okay? So get yourself comfortable and enjoy the show. That is the most important thing, of course. If you already have not, I would truly appreciate if you would like, share, and subscribe. You're very welcome in the space of Rashu Magical, in the family and community we are creating in here. So three messages for you that I will be clarifying. And the fourth one will be an advice, a final message. So let's see, the first one is your team energy that you will or you are currently already experiencing, okay? Six of Cups. Some of you, you are very nostalgic, back into your memories, back into the time. This may even have to do with a very young age. Of course, for some of you, this is very specific. Very young age or maybe even a childhood, okay? What are you thinking about? I'm hearing what if, what if, what if. It's almost like you are having regrets. It's almost like, you know, what if I didn't do that? What if I could have done this? And that is exactly that Saturn retrograde energy that I'm talking about. Um, here it is, your energy, water elements energy coming through. Yeah. I feel like for a lot of you, you are already experiencing this type of energy. <laughs> This may have to do with somebody with whom you were very close. Somebody who, you know, walked different paths than you are, you know. Life just happens very often. At the bottom of the deck, um, we have the Page of Swords, which is air energy. You might leave Aquarius. Some of you, you may be having prominent air in your chart. It doesn't have to be, though, but, you know, I can mention that it's... Most of the time, it's really all about the energies. Um, a lot of you, you are, I feel like you are really on, on a new journey. You, you created already a new path, which means you close the cycle and you open a new one, Scorpio. So you are learning about something new. This may even be someone new you are learning about. You are meeting. But this is, you know, very youthful, young, fresh, new energy. Uh, you know, for some of you, it may be a job, it may be a project, it may be a person, it may be, uh, it can be a lot, but it's going to be different for every single one of you, of course. So, major lesson that you will be learning and that will actually help you in your brighter near future is the King of Pentacles. For some of you, maybe somebody's coming your way who is in the energy of the King of Pentacles to support you, uh, you know, take you by the hand and walk beside you in that kind of manner. Uh, for others of you, this is, this is your major lesson to learn about stability, to learn what it actually means and how it actually feels to be, to feel grounded, to be grounded. Um, for a lot of you, this is, this is the message of settling down. <sighs> a lot of you, you have difficulties with 
um, being at one place, building a community, building a family, you know, actually having it stable, whether this is job, whether this is, you know, that new thing that you are learning about um, that may come as a challenge as well. But yeah, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here as your major lesson at this period of time. Definitely learning about what it means to be stable, what it what if what it means when you feel grounded. Um, also security, you know. Financial security and uh, also emotional security because everything is connected. But I feel like most of that is the stability, you know, for you to actually, uh, for some of you, you may even be uh, having that major lesson in learning about loyalty. Because I feel like there maybe was, once upon a time, a person with whom you were very loyal, with whom you had uh, trust and as I know Scorpius and what do I know about Scorpios is when once you win the trust of a Scorpio, you got it. Whether this is, you know, as a friend, as a partner, as a romance, for, for some of you, um, it's very difficult for you to, to trust, you know, uh, which, again, is connected with that message of stability and just feeling grounded, like, um, you know, having somebody by your side who you can trust. And other storyline is this is your loyalty toward yourself. And it has to do with achievements of your goals and making your dreams reality, you know. <clears throat> What you need to keep in mind is the four of wands, fire elements, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You need to keep in mind that you need to relax. That is, allow for you, Scorpio, to have fun, uh, to put a focus on going out and being out there and just enjoying yourself. Uh, that is a sin. of this life. You know, like, that's the purpose, to, to have fun. So let's clarify for you, Scorpio, <clears throat> some rising and Venus placements. Let's see about these energies and talk a little bit more about that. Then I'm going to have a look into some final message. Um, advice for you from love universe messages and chakra messages that i have created if you wish a personal reading scorpio definitely check the description box because all the information is written there okay and that way you can reach out to me and we can make it happen of course six of cups is clarified with the message of Getting the last puzzle, getting the last puzzle and feeling alive, being whole, you miss somebody, you miss somebody. That's why you're nostalgic, you're thinking a lot about this person, about, you know, what you have with this person, whether this was a friend, whether this was a family member, whether this was, you know, romance-wise energy share between the two of you uh but you really believe that this person is the piece that you are missing the piece for you to feel lucky and be satisfied and be happy you known this person for a long time you know them very well whether you you knew them for two years year and a half ten years 30 years, you know. 
Okay. 21 message when it comes to that. Yeah, look at this. We have trust at the bottom of the deck. Um, I already pulled the messages, but I started shuffling. So I noticed you need to have one more message according to that, which is healing. You need to heal this. I've, you are very emotional about this person, Scorpio. And I feel like you haven't seen them in a while. Maybe there is no contact very much between the two of you. Some of you, you're trying to forget about this person. But it's like you still feel that pull. There is a pull between the two of you. You need to heal this. Maybe that's why there is a pull. To tell you, you need to heal this. And this is the same kind of a story with self-sabotage. Which again, has nothing to do with this. But I feel like I, I, can't, I can't mention that right now. You know, a lot of people think that self-sabotage is actually uh, bad. But I don't necessarily believe that anything is bad because there are no coincidences and nothing that happens happens for you to, you know, be in a bad place. Even though very often it can feel like that, but that's not the point. That's not, you know, the higher purpose of that. So when something like self-sabotage, something like a memory, something like, you know, that has been dig very deep inside of you for a period of time, for a certain period of time. When it pops out, that's a sign. That's a sign you need to heal that. That's a sign maybe you need to go in a, another direction. That is telling you something, as well as the self-sabotage does. It's telling you, you know, stop it, move it, go along. Don't do that to yourself, you know. It can mean a lot. <sighs> yeah. You need to heal this. There is something you need to let go. And that is... That thing, that person, that feeling that brings you back into the time. Yeah. The King of Pentacles here for you is clarify with intensity. So this is happening fast. You are learning fast. You are learning fast that something that will help you in your near brighter future is potential of stability. That you find your place and that you, you know, uh, settle down, as I was saying for some of you. Uh, but also, you know, that you feel grounded, like... That's my place. This is my home. This is when, where I can always come back, you know, from job, from a long day, from a journey, from a period of being alone, somewhere by myself, from revisit, visit, whatever this may mean for you. And again, we have trust at the bottom of the deck. And underneath that is habits. <laughs> Some type of habits of your own were actually telling you, you need to learn, relearn how to trust, to build a trust. And that is, again, I mentioned that with the energy of the Six of Cups. And underneath habits is compromise. Yeah, this, this actually means duality. Compromising you with yourself. Maybe because of some habits, you need to change some type of habits that you do. And there you will find trust. For others of you, this may be compromised with somebody else. Who you may be, you know, who is there as a challenge for you to learn how to trust. You know, the universe really works in such a mystical ways. For once, my lovely Scorpio is clarified with comparison. I feel like you have difficulties enjoying yourself. That's why maybe you, you, you don't get out much. Or when you get out much, you're just being drawn in that nostalgic type of energy. Where, you know, your feelings and emotions and thoughts just 
overtake you, overflow you kind of a So you need to keep in mind for some of you that comparison can bring you further. For others of you that comparison will not bring you further. And, you know, for some of you this may be comparison between the new and the old. Whether this is, you know, style of living, type of living, um, location, person, whatever it is. That you just need to keep in mind that you need to stop doing that. And for others of you, you need to have a closer look when it comes to comparison. Because in some ways, this, this might even help you to get to enjoy yourself, you know, and just be out there and have fun. So let's have a look into some final message for you, Scorpio. I heart you, what you give will come back. I heart you is a beautiful message. And it says, if everyone really knew how much they were loved, not only from above, but by those now in their life, there would be a little heart drawn on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets. So you should know that you are loved. An advice, possible advice, right here, right now for you, Scorpio. We have the message of the first chakra, root chakra, saying, Let go of your worries, you are guided and protected by Mother Earth. Don't worry, be happy. That's it. I'll catch you up pretty soon. I hope this was helpful and uh, you can let me know down in the comments how this resonates with you. <sighs> Take care, Scorpio.